What's up, guys? Um, so since my GoPro wanted to die on me in the last Q and A that I tried to film, we're making a new one. Yeah. All right, let's get started. you go to Navarro what made you start cheer what made me go to Navarro was just the fact that like I was gonna have a scholarship and I never even thought I was gonna go to college it was just the fact that like I knew it was like a really good school especially if I wanted to cheer there I was gonna have a scholarship and I didn't really have a lot of oh well, I didn't have any money so I was like oh my god out of all times, he could have been using his saw. Anywho. Um, I completely lost train of thought whenever he started doing whatever he was doing. But what made me start cheer was my mom had a friend that owned a gym. And she cheered whenever she was younger. So, um, she has a lot of... Do y'all hear all these background noises? I I can't believe my fan would just choose to act up like this right now. Anywho. I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> Hopefully um, that part doesn't go in the video because um, I wore a cute, nice shirt on the top side because that's all you're seeing. And I'm wearing slides and sweatpants on under this. Alright, what has been your favorite coloring book and what is your favorite Crayola color? Lisa Frank coloring books all the way. And um, my favorite Crayola color, um, I don't know, I, I feel like I've used like glitter colors in the past, I don't know why but probably like a glittery pink one or something like that. I don't know, I love glitter. Do you edit your own videos? No, my boyfriend does. He's really good at it. What was your favorite experience with your grandmother? Honestly, just like getting to travel around with her. Um, whenever I was in all-star cheer, like as a little girl, um, my grandma would take me to competitions quite frequently, um, you know, because my mom would work a lot and, um, sometimes she couldn't take off and my grandma would, um, always take me, you know, on all these different trips to go to competitions and stuff and they're usually like pretty far distance so it's just like road tripping with grandma all the time what is the best part about raves just the overall experience really like there's not one particular thing i can take over like the whole just experience of it because everything is so amazing that i just can't pick one favorite thing what's your advice to someone being bullied Honestly, I was bullied a lot whenever I was younger. And one thing that like helped me out is just like understanding that there's always gonna be someone that doesn't agree with the way you choose to live your life. There's always gonna be someone that has their two cents. You have to understand that almost in all cases, if someone is just targeting you and trying to make you feel like crap, it's because they feel like they have to just spread their pain and it's just a sick cycle of negativity that they're trying to put out into the world. You just gotta do what makes you happy and like literally if someone has some crap to say about it, just brush it off because you know who's the ones not happy? Them. And you gotta be the bigger person. Don't give them a reaction, please. That's what they're looking for. That's what's gonna keep fueling their fire. Literally, ignore. And that's the only way you deal with, well, verbal bullies. 
or cyber bullies. If it's physical abuse, you have to tell one of your peers, like, point blank period. Like, there's no other way to go about that. If someone is physically harming you, you have to tell someone that can help you because you could end up severely injured. What's your favorite hair color? Probably lime green. What's your favorite childhood memory? Going around on family vacations and stuff. How do you take care of your mental health? Well, cheerleading is definitely one of them. Like staying in good shape, like working out and staying in shape like helps a lot like with my mental health because you feel like you're putting in a lot of work towards you know your goal and whenever you see progress it makes you feel really good like you know whenever you look good you feel good for like the deeper things like with you know just the way I feel on the inside I self-reflect a lot even whenever it's about bad things from all of the the things that you do even if they're toxic study them and whether you know you're doing something good you can tell yourself to keep doing that if you're doing something bad you have to think of ways that you can avoid being like that and me being aware that i do this regularly also like makes me feel better like mentally because i know that like i'm an adaptable person and that i'm able to actually grow and change as i get older and I've always felt like I've had a very, like, strong mind, like, mentally. Because I've, I've definitely struggled with depression in the past, but, like, recently, like, I guess since I got into college is when I really started finding myself and, like, loving who I, like, truly am. Oh my god, there's another truck coming, and it's kind of loud. And just remember to look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you love yourself. You're always gonna be there for yourself, always gonna be your mental coach, and that you're a bad and no one can kill you. Why did you drop out of high school? Girl, I was depressed. I didn't go to, ooh. I was um, never in class. I was skipping all the time. And when I was in school, chances are I was in ISS. I was a little I didn't listen to anybody. I chose to stay that way because I was just like so unhappy with myself that I didn't really care about any consequences. I tried going to a couple different schools and I got kicked out of one and then I was gonna get sent to um, one of the alternative schools in my area and um, I didn't want to have to deal with like being treated like a prisoner at school. So I dropped out against my parents' wishes. I just didn't go to school for like two years until I got the chance to go to Navarro. Have you been cheering anymore since quarantine? I tumbled one time in like four months. <laughs> oh man. Whenever I go back to Navarro, guys, y'all better pray for me because I haven't been working out. We're gonna get back. Like, I'm confident that I'll be fine once I get to Navarro, but getting back into shape, that's gonna be an oof. What was the hardest thing to have to deal with with starting up at Navarro? Getting up early, always being on time, practicing every day of your life, and falling out of bed in the morning from being so sore, and knowing that you're gonna have to do it again. How do you deal with school stress? Study groups. Guys, it's so important that you find people that are smarter than you and you befriend them. And they can help you out so much whenever you don't understand something. Heck, if you're smart, maybe you know something that they don't know and y'all can help each other out. Honestly, I always like to turn to like, you know, people whenever I'm confused or don't know what's going on, which is like half the time. So I would always have friends, you know, come over and we'll do homework together. And it's just easier that way because then, you know, it's kind of hard to motivate yourself when you're alone. I mean, that's for me at least. That's my little life hack. I just wanted to let y'all know a little bit about me.
So, see y'all next week. I'm gonna hide my outfit because it's ghetto. Just kidding.